Hey everyone, it's been a long while since you probably saw me in this spot. Finally got back from my trip, it's been a long time, but that being said, I didn't even get robbed on my trip. And do you know why? Because my pockets were so flat because I had this Ridge Wallet, one of these cool things that I picked up. So this video is brought to you today by Ridge Wallet. It's a light, sleek, industrial looking design that really sits so flat in your pocket you can't tell if anything is in it. Big difference, this big thing to this little thing. What's really cool is it's expandable, it can hold up to 12 cards. Also cash, you can get a money clip and or an elastic like this. And easy access to all your cards, just pop them out and go from there. Made of super durable material and the coolest thing is that there's a lifetime guarantee. Yes, there's a lifetime warranty and guarantee on this wallet. So you're literally buying one wallet for the rest of your life. And there's also like over 30,000 five star reviews. People really like the product. They're so sure you're gonna like it that you can actually get it and test drive it. Try it out for 45 days and if not, you're gonna get your money back if you don't like it. So click that link in the description right now, use that code on screen the ridge.com forward slash Joel not only for 10% off but also free shipping worldwide free worldwide shipping 10% off you can't beat that deal check out that code down below show some rich some love and get yourself a lasting wallet hey everybody Joel Hansen here and today we're in sunny Texas in Georgetown Texas to be very specific at Burger University is here to do their full ride challenge. Get it, like full ride to college. So this is a five burger challenge with a big thing of fries. So it's supposed to be about six, six and a half pounds. All the burgers are doubles, and then you have like about a pound, pound and a half of fries. So it looks really good. It apparently is in a, you know, historic building. Um, current record is like eight minutes or something, but I think Brandon Clark, Brandon the Garbage Disposal Clark, um, we just did another challenge, so I'm not, Really sure we're gonna be gunning for any kind of record today, but it looks really good, sounds good. I like burgers, nothing wrong with fries in moderation. So I'll head on in, see what we can do. Miss Rain is joining me, also my good friend Blaine. Uh, we're in the States, so I can get my burgers cooked like medium, and it should be good. Randy Santel just did this like a week ago. He did in about 18 minutes, so we'll kind of base that as a standard. So everybody, let's go on in, see what we can do. You gotta pay first, it's 50 bucks. If not, it's free, so let's go. Hi everybody, so here we are with the challenge. So five double burgers plus about a pound-ish of fries. I went with sweet potato fries, ran them with normal fries. I got some ketchup, got some beverages. So yeah, we're just gonna get eaten. Looks really delicious. Raina, ready to rock? Yeah. All right, well let's do a countdown. So let's do a count, start the count of five, four, three, two, one. Cheers. It tastes like A&W. I just got ketchup on it. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Burger University here with Miss Reyna doing their challenge. So essentially it is five double burgers and then a, what's about a pound or pound and a half of french fries. You can choose sweet potato fries or normal fries. I chose sweet potato fries because, duh, sweet potato fries are delicious, but Reyna doesn't apparently like sweet potato fries, so let me know down below right now if you're a sweet potato fry or a normal fry person, because I kind of want to settle this debate. I like both, but sweet potato fries, I mean, come on. They're like, when you have them, you gotta have them. So, uh, basically, it's as simple as that. You have an hour to complete it. Normally, I guess you do get a t-shirt for completing it, but they told us that like, they didn't have any t-shirts, so if we were to win, um, we would not be getting t-shirts, but we'd still get the meal free. Um, the meal was just about $50. You pay up for it up front, you get reimbursed, etc, etc. So super thankful to be having some sweet tea, hashtag shout out America with my meal there. Um, of course I actually get the unsweet tea, and I, but not make a long story short, you get what I'm talking about because yes, sweet tea and even unsweet tea, the iced teas like that, brewed from real tea, is not a thing in much of the world. Like Canada, not a thing. Most world, not a thing. I mean, Joe's trying to be the best of the time. Go ahead. I'm going to have the fun. So this was our second challenge of the day, so I definitely didn't start off trying to go fast or trying to chase the record, but it was kind of around this point um, where I was kind of like, you know what, they're going down not too bad, maybe they actually have a shot at it. So I did decide to speed it up a little bit and try to chase that record of Brandon's even though I didn't really think it was going to happen. Um, Brina was definitely, I guess, just taking her time for this challenge. Um, 
I guess, enjoying it. Uh, of course, I had ketchup. She had ketchup too, but ketchup is my absolute favorite. Uh, love, love, love ketchup. Um, it's a great sauce. I mean, it's so versatile. It goes great on fries, it goes great on burgers, and everything all the above. So Randy Santel, as I mentioned, and Big Eater Mike uh, just did this challenge about a week before we came and did it. So it's always pretty fun, you know, to do a challenge that your friends just did, and then you know you can compare times and or you know it gives you another conversation piece with the staff um, which the staff were really cool they seemed like I mean honestly like university students I don't say that like disrespectfully but they just seemed like chill laid-back guys um, Burger University right what are the odds the burgers here were good um, unfortunately my burgers were definitely not cooked uh, you know like medium um, but the, the way I would describe the burgers is like they really did remind me of like an A&W burger um, if you're not familiar with A&W, A&W is a burger chain, at least in North America. I'm not sure if it's elsewhere in the world, but that's exactly what it tasted like. It's like the patties actually, if you eat at A&W, they look identical. It's like a similar round patty. Um, now, I do know that they do make their own patties here. It's not like they're coming in frozen or anything, but they definitely did taste like an A&W burger. They had the same kind of like seasoning, and then, like I said, even visually, just very, very similar. Uh, now the buns were not like an A&W uh, burger, these buns were um, definitely thicker, a little bigger, and I want to say mm, kind of like a little bit of a sweet bun, like not a brioche, but a little sweeter. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, it kind of tastes like A&W, which was kind of interesting because I haven't had A&W in a long time, but my mother likes A&W, so shout out to my mom. But uh, yeah, I, that, I really do think that is all the information. I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Um, previous record, as we said, was uh, 7 minutes and 18 seconds. And of course, if you like beat the challenge at all, you get your name on that great big like banner uh, that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So I'll let you tune in, everybody. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, we at least get a win. And uh, enjoy. That was a close one. A little slow after the other challenge earlier, but I guess we officially got a new record. So, yeah, it was pretty tasty. 
excuse me. Ugh. Ugh, excuse me. I might order, order another one. It's pretty tasty. Excuse me. Rain is killing it here. Only about seven and a half minutes in. Keep it up, Rain. Doing good. She's down. Quite a few of the burgers. She's on some buns. A little bit of fries. Lots of time in a full hour, so. Kill it. Has anybody ever done the challenge twice? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know him, but he said you were like a competitive eater. Um, I got one to Gosh, what's his name? Randy. Yeah. Did you see his YouTube video that he was here? Yeah, we, we were actually friends with him. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we met up. Uh, so he, he was here about a week before us, but we, we actually did two challenges with him. Uh, Last week? It was last, last week, yeah, last week. For the last weekend? Last week. Yeah, technically last week. So. Yeah, it was fun. Wow. He's, yeah, uh, he's here with another guy. His name's Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Big Eater Mike. Yeah, that's what they said too. I mean, I, I work here, but uh, I still never get tired of the food. And a lot of people make it seem like I'm sounding biased, but like, I, I'm really it's not. Good, yeah, I literally good. eat a double every single day that I'm here. Same thing, same sauce. I never get tired of it. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Thank you. Rena's very much been talking about the difference, the difference between what I would consider like a North American dessert and an Asian dessert. She said that they're a lot less sweet, which my exposure that I've had, which is semi-limited, admittingly, I would agree, kind of. Like, I've had egg tarts and stuff, and they're not very, very sweet. They're a little bit more, I don't know, those ones are savory and rich, but... Show me the world. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. We can do it to win the car. I'm too embarrassed to say I'm not going to roll with the A brand new place for the food. <laughs> we'll fly across the sky and eat some pie. <laughs> I will share a whole new world with you. I'm seriously debating getting another burger challenge. Though. Do it. I feel like I need some. Why not? Just do it. <laughs> Might regret it though. Once I hit the fries again, I'll be like, oh. mm -hmm. yeah. Do a good round, keep it up. 
Yeah. Right, basically is all the meat gone? Yeah. Is the over half the fries gone? Just yeah. that 15. 15 minutes in? And then just some buns. She was gonna kill it. She'll kill it. That's why Rena likes her burgers with extra buns. <laughs> I just like smushing stuff together because there's like, you're just mentally emotional. You do like, she does like to, you do like to roll stuff. Like you roll the pizzas? Yeah. Pizzas, no. Five burgers and a bun, or and one patty. Five patty, sorry, five buns and one patty. That's what it is. <laughs> Excuse me, it's actually six buns. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, keep it up, Marina. <laughs> I've just closed my eyes and everything's a burrito. I like the burrito. Do you want burrito? Twenty minutes, twenty-five. She got three, eight and a half minutes left. Twenty-three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. That's actually funny to stop on the phone. That's why you're my brother. A man. Catch it. Catch it for yourself. You go into places like Walmart, some people be like, You guys brothers? Nah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah brother from Denver. Serene just finished up. 29 minutes, 37 seconds. So, good job, Brandon. Thank you. Did a good job. So, with that, everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, till next time, stay happy on the hunt. Happy eating, have a lovely day. Maybe enjoy yourself a burger, but just one, and yeah. Any words? Uh, no. Cool. We both graduated at Burger University. We got a full ride. And I think it's a scholar. We became scholars for completing the challenge. Awesome. Yeah, we get on the Dean's list. Woo! Cool. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Joel, he absolutely killed it. And I don't know what this building is, but this building is very big and pretty. And it's right across from Burger University, which again, this whole district is like historic, old looking, cool buildings. So Georgetown, Georgetown, who would have known? A pretty place. Hey everyone, so if you're not familiar, the United States always has so much more options, so many more options at Walmart and stuff. So I decided to buy some Lucky Charms ice cream. I'm a big fan of Lucky Charms. I like ice cream as well. So uh, let's see what this is like because I've never had Lucky Charms ice cream. I'm going to try to position it here on the dash. It'll probably slide all over the place. I'm with a less than optimal driver. Oh my gosh, shut up! <laughs> Do you want to clip it on here? Like the handle? Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, it's there chingang me, dude. Wow. All right, so I just licked it. That's what it looks like. Wow. So you can taste like the marshmallows, which I mean is not surprising because that's part of what makes a Lucky Charms. Well, yeah, let's get a scoop. Scoop view. Okay. So I definitely get the uh, the Lucky Charms marshmallow flavor. Besides that, it doesn't taste like too much. So it tastes like Lucky Charm marshmallows. Which is not a bad thing. I just wouldn't really say that. At the light, turn right onto North Bell Boulevard. It tastes like anything else. Well, it's pretty good. Lucky Charm Marshmallows, so you can see the marshmallows. I give it like a five out of 10. It's just fair. 
no regret.